show you um, how I quickly can reveal text and hide text um, on your clips, okay? So I'll go to the start, this clip here. What I'm using is the effect draw mask, okay? So you can see down here, this effect here, draw mask. So you're putting control points uh, on, the, on your clip, um, and this is to mask your title. So if you look at the title, and I'll just deselect the draw mask, the effect, okay? You'll see that ordinarily without that um, effect on, you can just see that it's just a no normal um, heading, okay? So that's just a normal title without any effect. So when we put the draw mask on, I'll select it there. So I've selected draw mask, and as you can see there, now we are hiding and reveal revealing the title as we want. So there's a few things that you want to do before you um, actually get into it. So you want to look at your clips, um, your, your shots, and you want to see where would be a good point to be able to reveal um, a title or hide a title, okay? Not all clips work very well, okay? This one here works pretty well because you can see it moves from right to left and there's a big object, the uh, iceberg, that um, hides, that can hide the text and then reveal it, okay? And it's quite nice and simple. Uh, so there's a few here. There's this one here. Um, so I'm just, I just, when I saw the clip, I'm like, okay, we could probably hide a title behind that mountain, okay? And then this one, I'm kind of just, this is a time lapse um, that I've done, and then I've just, I'm kind of revealing the title as though the fog um, is revealing it. This one, so this is a bit different. This title here, um, I am now hiding the title as it comes around. So it's not revealing it, it's there, and then it's hiding it behind the object, okay? And this one here, so we're not moving the camera at all, it's on a tripod, and then you've got a, an object that's moving. So this is a classic one that you'll probably see, um, a car moving out of the way, and then a title being um, revealed behind it, okay? So as you can see, as it goes, the title is revealed, and then what I've done is then, as it comes around, it is disappearing, okay? So all of these, all of these titles here have a draw mask effect, and I've had to draw the mask and the control points to reveal or um, hide uh, parts of the text, okay? So I'll quickly show you. I'm gonna do it, I'll do this one here. So I'll copy that clip, and I'll put it in the timeline. Okay, so I've got the clip here, okay? What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go get a title. I'm just gonna use a, a basic title here, okay? And I'm just gonna drag it in. Hide that, I don't need that anymore. And, okay, so I've got my title here, okay? Now, the first thing I did when I looked at this, I thought, okay, I wanna reveal something behind the, um, the iceberg. So, when I play the clip, I can see it going from left to right, okay? So I want something revealed. I want the title to be revealed as I'm moving to the left and behind the iceberg. Okay, so what you need to do is you want to position your title, okay? So you want to look at the start and you want to look at the end, okay, of your clip. So if you look at the end, this is where your final title will um, appear, okay? So that there, if I did it like that, you would never actually see the full New Zealand, okay? So what you want to do is you need to move, so you want to go to the end of the clip, you want to click on the title, you need to move your title to where you want the final product to be. So if you put it there, then you can see that by the end of the clip, the whole of New Zealand will be revealed, okay? And now what you do is if you go to the front of the clip, you can see that um, your the start of your hiding of your text, you'll be hiding everything, okay? Every letter except for the N and a bit of the E, okay? And all of that will be hidden behind the iceberg. And as you come along, all of the letters will then slowly be revealed, okay? Now to do this, you want to go to the start. You want to select your title. You want to come to draw mask here and you want to put it on top of your title, okay? And then you've got control points that it asks you, okay? So you want to start at the start of your clip, and you need to pick control points. 
this is pretty much picking where um, you're going to be revealing and hiding which parts of your text or your letters. So it's a lot easier if you zoom in. Okay, so up here you got the zoom, and then you've got the right the box here to select. So as you can see here, around here you you want only the N and a bit of the E to be revealed at the moment. So you want to. I'm just going to quickly do a few control points. You need to trial and error. You need to keep trying, and um, once you've done it a few times, you'll be able to pick it up and see how it goes. Okay, so I'm just going to put a few control points on. Okay, and you can see. See how I selected the N and a bit of the the E, and then I've done the um, final bit cutting by the around the edge of the iceberg. Okay. So now that you've got that selected, what you need to do is you need to go into um, the draw mask uh, properties, okay? And then you need to go to the control points here and click uh, keyframe. So you need to add keyframes, okay? This is what you have to do. So click add, okay? And now you need to go along your clip a little bit, okay? Say so you. you say about there, okay, and then you drag these control points back to the start of this um, iceberg or whatever your object is, okay, and then you have to just continue doing this, so just keep doing this, okay, um, it's a little bit tedious, but you, if you do it, if you, if you just keep doing it, um, you'll get good results, okay, so you just want to keep keep doing this okay so you just have to make your way um, make your way through okay slowly revealing your text as you go along um, your your timeline okay so I'm just gonna speed this up a bit okay. what you need to do is you double click on the line so double click and see here I've just added another control point so there you go and then you just scroll it in okay so that's if you need another control point it's pretty easy so you just keep doing this okay I'm doing it very fast and um, you'd want to take your time with this um, I'm doing it very fast just because it's a tutorial and by the time I get to the end here okay And then by the time we get to the end, we're at the last here, and you can see it's completely revealed, so it doesn't really matter now. You just leave it like that. So as you can see, I've got all the control points, and I'm just scrolling through, and see how it's revealing it nicely. Okay, so I'll just quickly play it, and you can see it's revealed. Okay, and that's pretty nice. What you can do is, if you want to, you can add feather. Okay, so what feather does is, see how you can see now, it's uh, slowly dissolving away okay so it's making it a bit softer around the edges okay so I like to have a little bit of feather on okay so just a little bit and it just makes it a bit more softer around as it coming as it's being revealed okay so I'll just go back to fit and I'll show you in real time there you go with this one here I am removing the mask with keyframes and control points okay and then as it comes around, I am adding the mask to the text with the control points and keyframes. The more time and effort you take, the better you can actually get them. Um, but really, I've, I've done that in about two or three minutes, and it's a pretty good result. Okay, so if you like this video, um, click like or subscribe. Um, maybe give me a comment, see what you think. Um, if you have any ideas, just let me know. Cheers.